Hey guys, um, I'll tell you a little bit about the NVAC Greenhouse and how it all started. Um, we started three summers ago um, here at Mac Campus. Uh, we built a first prototype in the summer of 2012, a very small thing. Um, we tested the concept, uh, putting a misting system with a, a third roof on the inside and it seemed to work. And so we built a bigger prototype, kind of a, a real greenhouse but still really small uh, last summer and that worked again. And so then came this summer where we had to build uh, a larger prototype in Barbados. And luckily we had Sandy and Simon um, up at the farm, just up from the lairs, as well as Zane and Brian and Dylan, that helped me out a lot. Um, so we managed to build a commercial sized um, full fledge greenhouse uh, for cucumber production, uh, which is great. And the concept still seems to work well. The misting system and the three roof design seems to be, um, seems to be just great. They out here playing with the pen. They out here fronting for their friends. But Greenhouse bring it to an end with this gem. We separate the boys from the men. Hello everyone for the Greenhouse team. I'm Zainab Iqbal. I'm majoring in international development and minoring in religion and theater. I'm Dylan Fields. I'm majoring in bioresource engineering. I'm Ryan Knight. I'm also majoring in bioresource engineering, but I'm minoring in environmental engineering. We spent this summer retrofitting Sandy and Simon's greenhouse. Sandy and Simon are local agriculturists on the island. They're the only providers of English cucumbers that are locally grown. Now we'll show you our greenhouses. So this is our control greenhouse. It is one of three uh, identical greenhouses besides the one that we modified. So at the beginning of the summer, they were all the same. Um, it is your conventional two-roof greenhouse system that is naturally ventilated. Um, the two-roof system, one roof is above the other, so uh, air is allowed to escape out of the top since hot air rises. It's, um, their cucumbers are all grown hydroponically, and you can see this is just the uh, grow old grow trays that are still left over from the last batch. They'll replace them before they make new cucumbers. And that's the fertigation system out in the back. Now so, let's head over so to... So now let's show you the, uh, modified the new modified version. As soon as you walk in, you notice that the temperature is a lot lower here. As opposed to the other one here, there's now a third roof that has been attached. And there's also a misting line running down. Um, when the misting line is on, like at the moment, It'll cause the air to cool and fall, causing a natural convection cycle, uh, which is used in place of uh, fans, which are uh, energy driven. So this greenhouse is um, really good at maintaining a good temperature, potentially lowering uh, relative humidity, and also is completely energy efficient as well as all the water being used since it is a water scarce country the water is collected using um, a gutter system right here that's pushed right back into the hydroponic system since we were able to lower the temperature in the greenhouse the agriculturists are now thinking of expanding into hot pepper production pump that we use to get the water up to the misting line, um, which goes around here and starts right above this roof that's right above our heads. People let me tell you about my best friend, he's a warm-hearted person who loved me till the end. People let me tell you about my best friend. 